quick video going over the Global G3 carving knife as well as the Wushtoff Gourmet carving and slicing knife. Both of these knives are meant to cut down roasts and chickens and turkeys and things like that. And I'm making a video going over this because these are both very, very popular knives and a lot of times people find themselves choosing between the two. So first off the bat, major difference between the two. The Global is a handmade forged knife in Japan and the Wushtoff is a machine-made stamped knife from Germany. They also have different cutting angles. The Wushtoff is a much thicker 18 and a half degree edge, while the Global has a much thinner and sharper 15 degree edge. And that might not sound like much, but to put it in different terms, the Global is sharp enough that you can actually shave with it, while the Wushtoff is definitely not. The metals, however, are relatively similar. The Global uses Cromova 18, which is roughly 56 to 58 hardness, while the Wushtoff uses their own blend of metal, which is roughly 58 hardness. And the end result is they're both going to wear at roughly the same rate. The cool thing is that even though the Wushtoff is a stamped knife, it is actually a full tang knife, which I think is really nice. The difference is the Global, with its modern design, a lot of people don't realize, is actually a two-piece knife. They forge the blade and they make the handle separately, and it's actually a hollow handle. They fill it with sand and they weld the whole thing together and polish it up. The reason they do that is because it makes for a very light, nimble knife, but it also makes a little bit of a weak point here, and there have been stories, even though the stories are rare, of getting cracks and breaks along this edge. Since both of these knives do have lifetime warranties, though, that isn't really too much of a concern, and those are very rare stories, but it's something to consider regardless. Aside from that, both of the knives are great knives. I'm going to put a link down to them below. It really comes down to exactly what you're looking for. Do you want a more traditional sort of thick German knife, or do you want a sharper, thinner, more nimble Japanese knife? Let me know if you guys have any questions or comments or concerns. Otherwise, I will talk to you soon.